Hey guys, how's it going? I am testing out this crochet tennis ball hack. I saw it on Instagram uh, first, but I believe it was from a TikTok video. I don't have TikTok, I'm not on there, but I saw it shared to Instagram. And I came across a video tonight of somebody trying it, um, who actually doesn't have several of her fingers, which I thought that was fascinating um, that she crochets, which is amazing. She was trying this and I was like, wait a second, do I still have some of my really old tennis balls? Cause I played tennis in high school and I still have tennis balls from high school. I'm 32. <laughs> so I grabbed one and I have a couple of sharp sort of cutting knives like this. This is the Cricut one. And then this is from We Are Memory Keepers. And I ended up using both of these. This one actually, the blade came out as I was trying to do it. So I switched to this one. But I just cut a hole in, you know, opposite sides of the ball. And then I had to um, shave a little bit off of the sides as well in order to actually properly fit a hook in because I initially was putting my other clover hook in. This is this is uh, clover as well. These are both a 5.5 millimeter. And when I first tried it with this one, um, one of my one of my issues, at least something that I do when I crochet is I will use my index finger to make sure that the yarn doesn't like slip off the hook as I'm um, going into the next stitch. And that is something that is kind of difficult with the tennis ball, but let me maybe see if I can kind of show you. Um, I, I do feel like it is helping to relieve some of the strain on my hand that I feel in certain areas. Um, this is a tote bag that I'm working on. This pattern is from Not Monster on Etsy, in case you're curious. But so, and of course it's black, so you guys can't really see that. Um, I just wish clover hooks had a longer handle. Like why, you know what I mean? Like why can't they do that? <laughs> so I'm like... <sighs> trying this um because I actually like holding it back here like like this I kind of like holding it like this but I normally will use like my thumb yeah my thumb actually I think it's my thumb I'll usually use my thumb to like this to make sure that the yarn doesn't you know go all the way down and slip off I don't know it just bugs me when that happens trying to go to the next stitch it, I I guess in my head I start thinking oh it's gonna fall off but Maybe it never actually does, and I don't need to do that. Um, so this is, it's not too bad. I, I do think it helps. And, um, oh, uh, yeah, and then I, then it comes off of the hook there. Where am I at? <laughs> yeah, this just happens to be a black yarn. Um, so, you know, I guess, I don't know, this is the greatest review. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but it does seem to be kind of helpful for me. Um, I'm going to stop there for now because the next part requires me to go into the back bumps of the what will be the handle. And I, that's, um, I need to look at that more closely. So it's hard for me to do being under a uh, camera. Is it worth trying? I think so. You could go buy a pack of tennis balls. They usually come in uh, a package of three tennis balls. And I don't know how much they are these days. Honestly, no idea. They're probably like eight bucks or something. But you may, if you end up liking it, you may want to cut holes in all three of the balls so that you can, whatever your most um, commonly used, typically... <laughs> Whichever hooks you use the most often, you could just leave it on there and you could always 
write on the ball with a pen or something what size hook it is in case they're all similar colors or just so that you don't forget. But I do kind of like it. I think I am kind of getting used to it. And I right now I'm happy with this hook being in here instead of my other clover one because this is easier to slide in. Uh, this with the rubberiness was kind of hard. And honestly, I was a little concerned about this like I'm um, getting ruined or like coming off of the hook actually. I think it's worth trying. And if you can kind of figure out your flow without too many issues, it might be really beneficial. Maybe I'll give you guys an update in another video down the road. So, but I don't know. That was just like a really quick review. Uh, let me know if you've tried it. Leave a comment in the comments. Leave a like. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.